Hey guys, this is Catman. Uh, I am playing Kerbal Space Program, the point two three update. Uh, this update has added some new features, such as uh, the science module, uh, which allows you to uh, get back a whole bunch more science, and the science system was redone, so no longer can people science spam. I am a little sad about this, but we'll see what we can do. So what I'm going to do is create a brand new save file for the Let's Play. We're going to be doing career mode. And I am going to be running this modded. Uh, this is the day that it came out, so there's not very many mods out right now. Uh, I may add some more in as the Let's Play goes on, but for right now... Um, what I have is pretty much all that's out there. Uh, I will have a list of the mods in the description below. Um, so let's get to it. Alright. Let's just build a uh, basic, uh, uh, basic uh, rocket here. Also, um, now, as you can tell, if you've ever played a Kerbal Space Program before, the uh, interface is a little bit different. Um, it used to be that uh, you'd o hover over something over here, and then the uh, big old long list would show up over here. But uh, no longer. Now you got to right click. And what's really cool is um, now you have tweakables, so you can go in here and just put in zero electric charge if you want. Don't know why you'd do that, though I don't. Though I do not need any uh, mono propellant in this uh, particular instance, so let's actually not even that for now. There, let's get the. For some reason I'm having issues clicking the. There we go, clicking the. Uh, huh. Anyway, yeah, I have. Um, these are part. Of, these are modded in. Um, yeah. Right now, uh, really, the heat shields are the only modded in parts that we have access to. So yeah. But um, what I'm going to do is first thing that anybody playing this for the first time should do, which would be launch a uh, brand new ship, or just launch this guy. Because there's no reason not to. You can get plenty of science just from sitting here. So, yep. Yeah, you can get this. Actually, here we go. Send that off. And then have not enough electric charge to do that again. Oh, okay. So there's no more science. Okay. Alright. And now get out. Do an EVA report from here. Keep the data. Pop it in. Ooh, sorry about that. Take the surface sample. Take, there we go. That's another one of the mods. <laughs> uh, do an EVA report. And then... Yep. Um, don't know why it's doing it more than once, but okay. And then review stored data. Yep. Alright, and then recover the vessel. Because that way then we can actually get the science back that we have gone ahead and oh so hard. Yeah. Gone and gotten, basically. So now what we can do is go here. This is the R and D building. Um if you've played before you know how this works basically. Um it's a tech tree and you build out this way. But uh, what's new is the Science Archives uh, button. Basically, it shows you what science you've done and how much uh, value is left. So, yeah. Don't have any on the Sun or Eve Gilly, but I do have some on Kerbin, as you can see here. And here's Werner von Kerbin grinning. He, he must be Jeb's brother or something like that. <laughs> So let's get some science here, which will get us a couple decouplers, a bigger fuel tank, a smaller fuel tank, another decoupler, and a mystery goo containment unit, uh, which will be very, very helpful in our 
mastery of the sciences to get us bigger and better things. And these things will make us less likely to explode in a violent fashion. Which would be good, considering Jeb does not like to explode. He likes to keep all of his parts in one piece. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so three should be good. The trick is when building this kind of thing is uh, you don't want to block the door. Locking the door is bad. That means that your Kerbal can't get out, or even if he can get out, he can't get back in. When you can't get back out or back in, then you have to uh, bring him in separately, and it's just, it lengthens it a little bit. It's not too bad, it's just kind of annoying. So let's launch him back out. Loading. Come on, there we go. And then do our mystery goos. Keeping our mystery goo. Then go back on EVA. Nope, that's not gonna. Whoops, that's not gonna get us any more science. Uh, surface sample gonna get us any more science? It will get us a little bit more science. Keep the data. It's another EVA. Nope. Okay. Now hop back in. And then recover the vessel again. And now we should have a little bit more science. I am just gonna, yeah. You may be wondering, this is a game about rockets. Why are you not building any rockets? Uh, because I can get a bit of science done right now and I don't need to risk blowing anyone up. I think Jeb appreciates that. Let's see here. So what do we want to get next? I uh, could get decouplers, but I'm not really building anything that's going to need decouplers right now. I could get s bigger solid fuel booster and a better, well not better, a different uh, liquid engine. But what I kind of want to do is get landing struts. Because landing struts allow you to actually land instead of crash on your butt. Which would be good. So let's get that. And unfortunately, we don't have enough to get any of the other ones. What's that you say? Well then how are we supposed to get it? By leaving Kerbin, of course! You build a rocket, you fly it up, you do things. That's how it works. This is Kerbal Space Program. What... Did you not think we were going to space? <laughs> if you did, then that's kind of sad and I don't know why you thought that, but okay. <laughs> so let's slap a... That's weird, but... I don't know why it's kind of dark like that, but okay. But, uh, yeah. Slap a parachute on top. And... Okay, we have enough of those. Okay. Grab one of our decouplers. I like this decoupler for uh, deadly reentry because it uh, sort of cradles the bottom, unlike this one, which kind of... Yeah, it kind of does the same thing. It's just, you know... I like the white mechanic. I never noticed that before. 21S58-8. Okay. Alright. Actually, that reminds me. No, I did not. There we go. Don't want anybody interrupting me while I'm doing this. Okay, so now we will actually build our first rocket without ever having gotten off the ground before. So let's see here. And come on, let me select it. Don't know why I'm having issues. Oop, there we go. Pop that on there. And now we go to action groups. Action groups are really nice because um, basically one uh, custom one through ten uh, corresponds to one through zero on the uh, on your keyboard. So that way, then you just hit that button, and anything that's on here, such as observe mystery goo, happens when you press that button. No, uh, actually, let me do something real fast. I am going to swap this to... Oh, uh, how I did that was I hit uh, Alt and I clicked on the uh, item at the same time. Just if you were wondering. Uh, move that over a little bit more. There we go. That way, now I can actually go ahead and put these on separate buttons. Observe Mystery Goo and then Observe Mystery Goo. There we go. And then 
Okay, so the rocket go down here is the uh, staging. So rocket, rocket blows up. Well, hopefully not blows up, but a rocket starts. Then we go up. And then once we're out of fuel, we decouple from the rocket, and then we turn on the parachute. So what should we call this? We'll call it the hmm. The Jabinator Mark One. Yeah. Gotta love the Jebinator. Yeah. Now we wait for the scene to load. Yay! Now, um... Yep. Oh, here we go. Now, first thing we do before we launch is hit T. T activates SAS. Uh, SAS bas uh, basically helps you point where you want to go. So you don't flip out of control. And then you hit Shift to bring up the throttle. And then you hit Space to uh, stage. However... Before we do that, if you notice right here, this is FAR. This is not normal. No, this is uh, modded in. This here basically is. Huh. Anyway, uh, this here basically fixes KSP's uh, like aerodynamic system. There we go. Uh, before uh, be the normal aerodynamic system doesn't work how most people think it would. Um, it actually works on mass instead of like where things are in direction or in rel uh, relative direction uh, in relative placement to the airflow. So anyway, so let's get going. And three, two, one, let's go. Woo! We have now gotten up. Now I want to throttle down a bit. And now start turning over. We start turning over. This is what's called a gravity turn. This gravity turn actually... There we go. Keep the data. This gravity turn um, helps because it starts us going in the direction of in orbit. In orbit is not what most people think of going straight up and ooh you're in orbit. No. In orbit actually is when you are moving fast enough horiz uh, in horizontally relative to the uh, planet that you are constantly falling but constantly missing the planet basically. Okay, there we go. Now we can... Huh. It's kinda nice. They uh, changed some things. Okay. Oh boy. Darn it. Okay, well, I <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it to space today. Going to map view here. That's just M on your uh, keyboard. Yeah, we're only going to 12,000 feet. 12, uh, 12 kilometers, so I don't think so. Nope. Oh, oh, maybe. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so, whoa, don't know why I'm flipping backwards again. Okay. Let's reset that. Okay. Come on. Yeah, the thing with um, FAR is it uh, fixes KSB's sort of, not broken, but um, strange aerodynamic system. Come on, stop flipping end over end, please. But then you get instances like this where you have no control. Come on. Come on. Yep. And now I'm not going to be able to make it out. There we go. Come on. Spin. Spin, 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 spin. There we go. Now I have control again. No, nope, now I don't. Yaw, why are you doing this, yaw? If you notice down here, um, there's the indicators of what's going on with the uh, SAS. And for some reason, it likes to... Come on. There we go. Come on. Okay. As you can see, we're down to point 
point zero one fractional density of sea level. Come on. I was hoping to be able to get up decently close to space. But uh, it does not appear that we will be going to space today. Come on. This is really annoying. I've never really had this issue before where I would just flip out end over end. Oh, there we go. We're finally getting uh, control back just in time to uh, use the rest of our liquid fuel. There we go. Now decouple that. Okay. And we will be going up to 37,000... Uh, 37 kilometers approximately let's see here yes this grid here another mod so don't worry about that we'll deal with that at a later point uh, let me just turn off that grid to make this easier uh, yeah we'll be going to 30 why are we going up why is our Apple apps going up this this this, this isn't making much sense hang on <laughs> Thank you.